This trigger is so simple but so overpowered. Open the editor, go to the triggers tab, click a few times and place a gradient trigger. Go to edit special and here's where the fun begins. The four boxes at the top let you set the edges of the gradient as long as you only have one object per group. If you enable vertex mode, these objects get changed to the corners of the gradient and moving them changes the gradient accordingly. This is an overpowered mode that lets you make 3D renders in the game, but we'll come back to that later. Now set your colors and edit object by using color channels on the trigger. You can rotate or flip the trigger to transform the gradient it produces as well. The gradient trigger has four blending modes, which is far better than the two blending modes that other objects have. Preview Opacity works just like Opacity in color channels and changes how transparent the gradient is. Finally, let's talk about IDs. IDs let you update gradients after you make them, so you can't have two gradients with the same ID. You can, however, stack two gradients with different IDs, edit an existing gradient by using the same ID, and disable an existing gradient with the disable option. And if it's boring to constantly set new IDs, just select your trigger and vertices and use the regroup option to instantly set them. So let's look at this example again. I started by using vertex mode to make a bunch of small rectangles. Then, I set all the top vertices to one group and used an area move trigger to move them smoothly. That made a neat curve effect which I can control super easily, and this technique also lets you do things like shadows that update dynamically. You may have also seen Sputnik's 3D renderer, and that's another example of the gradient trigger at work. He used vertices to create a large mesh, and then used a lot of move triggers to make them move properly. And that's about it. If you want to learn more about the 2.2 editor, be sure to join our Discord server, but that aside, that is the gradient trigger in Geometry Dash.